Well, this is kind of uh, eerie. I didn't realize the name of the street was Escondido and Rochelle. But this is a street corner uh, in Las Vegas. It's typical of what I've been finding um, throughout Las Vegas. It's just, I've, I've heard that Las Vegas is one of the worst cities for cell radiation, microwave radiation. And we're looking at a tower right over here. And another tower right here. I found this a lot too during my short visit uh, here to Las Vegas. And this is typical of what I've been finding. Um, just huge numbers coming off cell towers. I haven't seen cell tower numbers like this back in California. Even though they are bad in California, this is three times two to three times worse than I've found in California. I mean just I'm told by a local that he was probably telling me as we were discussing microwave radiation that Las Vegas is 4G. They're, they got complete 4G coverage which is I guess the next greatest thing in microwave radiation. As you see, we're pulsing through up to the teens and to the twenties. I'm going to go ahead and freeze it. We'll get the highest pulse. It will only move up once it pulses higher than the last pulse is. And we got a nice uh, 34,460 microwatts per meter squared. Um, got these gentlemen down here hanging out in this uh, non-ionizing radiation soup. Getting what kind of physical and uh, behavioral effects, as we know, it's, it's looking like uh, this type of radiation affects behaviors too, which may explain why everybody's on Paxil, Zoloft, um, Effexor, Prozac, you name it, Abilify, may explain it, may not, don't know, won't know for decades to come, but until then you want to uh, minimize your exposure. going right back up. Nice. Well, I'm going to pull my butt out of here quickly and try to find some place with less radiation.